What's up guys, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload my next video. And today we're going to go over the week's patch notes. We have the new Awakening and Succession for Nova releasing. I'll have videos on each of those on my channel so make sure to check out those for my first impressions. If you're playing on Season servers, you can complete a one-time quest to exchange your Tavala main hand weapon into a Tavala Awakening weapon and keep the enhanced level. So if you enhance an extra pen Tavala Morningstar, you can now convert that extra Morningstar into a Tavala Sting for Nova. You can still obtain a Pride Tavala Awakening weapon for completing the Nova Awakening questline as well. Ancient Weapon Invasion was also added to Season Servers. This is an area event that will happen at random while you grind in Medaya or Valencia zones. You will first get a warning message and then 5 minutes after that warning message, monsters will begin to spawn. The more players that are around, the more mobs that will spawn. You can get some silver, fail stacks, and Tavala resources for defeating the final boss. Now, if you die though to these ancient weapons and the boss, normal death penalty seems to apply, so be careful. Season pass challenges regarding the world boss kills have been tweaked to allow you to kill the harder version of the boss to complete the pass. Before, it had to be the normal version, so if uh, Stormbringer Karanda spawned and you killed it, it still wouldn't count for the Karanda. Now it will. Mysterious Night Event is back. You can interact with him to get a 300% skill XP bonus for 3 hours. He appears at random while you grind. And last few times I think I saw him at Vel, at Garment. He's pretty popular over there as well. But hopefully as you grind, you'll get him every three hours or so. If you're grinding for SP at Poly, it's going to be great there. Seasonal RBF has been released as well. You can now enter RBF with your season characters in a season-only channel. And there is now a season daily for RBF that rewards you with enhancing resources as well. It does not stack with the normal RBF daily, though. You have to choose one or the other. Nova received some balance changes. Her pawns no longer deal 100% crit rate and have a 33% PvP damage reduction that's huge the crit bonus of her morning star skills will no longer apply in pvp as well some of her skills can no longer be used with mouse movement and nova will now recover sp on successful blocks and that's a good thing there are a few other tweaks but i'm gonna have to do some in-game testing to see how much that impacts nova in general in my opinion the pawn damage reduction is heavy-handed but necessary she just did too much damage hitting a block while her pawns basically ripped people apart taking away crit rate also can probably lead to her being a little bit under tuned in damage but it's hard to say right now we just got the patch for me it seems like an overcorrection after hearing the devs say they won't be nerfing a class they go ahead and nerf a new class after two weeks uh, this is precisely guys what we need to have at least a couple of weeks in global labs testing before classes come out so over tuned this wouldn't be happening we wouldn't feel so bad getting nerfs if the class already was under tuned and would just get, be getting buffs to their damage regardless the nerfs she's receiving in the last two weeks to the ice wall and now to the pawns I think they're all justified in my opinion. Recovering SP while blocking is a nice buff. A lot of people are asking for that. We should expect more Valent changes in the Global Labs this week, so stay tuned for that. Now, Combat Assistance, another thing that was kind of controversial. It's been nerfed last week and now receives a further nerf, slowing you down in skill linking. So if you're active PvP, you will not be able to cancel skills into each other when attacking other players while using the Combat Assistance option. This is something a lot of players were worried about and the developers have been pretty quick to update so that's good to see we now have all the other life skill costumes available for nova the cooking the alchemy the shark all the normal ones are now finally on sale and there's also a new outfit for berserkers and that's pretty much it for this one guys what do you guys think about the new awakening and nova succession kits do you think the devs were right to nerf pawn damage let me know in the comments and as always guys thanks again for watching thanks for listening i'll see you all in the next one take care